Good morning, Carol. Give it just eight o'clock. We'll give it a couple of more minutes. Let people join, and then we'll get started. Morning, Kay and Lois. Kim. Good morning, Tracy. Ready to go? <clears throat> All right, well, we're going to begin <clears throat> this morning on page 78, the Book of Common Prayer. And we will begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Send out your light and your <clears throat> truth, that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Continuing on page 79, we'll confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Continuing on page 80. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory <clears> to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now we will say together the Venite on page 82 of your Book of Common Prayer. Come, Come let, let us sing, sing to the Lord. Lord. Let, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him the psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, today that you would hearken to his voice. Now, our psalm today is Psalm 89. Verses 1 through 18, and that can be found on page 713 in your Book of Common Prayer. 
Psalm 89. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set forth your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. <clears throat> I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness <clears throat> to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? Almighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging sea, <coughs> you still in surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth also is yours. You laid the foundations of all the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have, my, you have a mighty arm, strong as your hand, and high as your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly, the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. Glory to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today is from the book of Kings, Second Kings, chapter 17. Verses 24 through 41. Second Kings chapter 17, <clears throat> verses 24 to 41. And the king of Assyria brought people from Babylon, Kutha, Ava, Hamath, and Seraphim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the people of Israel. And they took possession of Samaria and lived in its cities. And at the beginning of their dwelling there, they did not fear the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them, which killed some of them. So the king of Assyria was told, The nations that you have carried away and placed in the cities of Samaria do not know the Lord of God of the land. Therefore he sent lions among them, and behold, they are killing them, because they do not know the Lord of the law of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, Send there one of the priests whom you carried away from there, and let him go and dwell there, and teach them the law of the God of the land. So one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and lived in Bethel, and taught them how they should fear the Lord. But every nation still made gods of its own, and put them in the shrines of the high places in the, that the Samaritans had made, every nation in the cities which they lived. The men of Babylon then made Succoth, Benath. The men of Cuth made Nergal. The men of Hamath made Ashima. And the Avites made Nibaz and Tatrak. <clears throat> and the Seravites burned their children in the fire to the Adramelech and the Anamelech, the gods of Seravarim. They also feared the Lord and anointed from them from among themselves all sorts of people as priests of the high places who sacrifice for them in the shrines of the high places. So they feared the Lord, but also served their own God after the manner of the nations from among whom they had been carried away. To this day, they do according to the former manner. They do not fear the Lord and they do not fear the statutes or the rules or, or the law of their commandment that the Lord commanded the children of Jacob whom he named Israel. The Lord made a covenant with them and commanded them, you shall not fear other gods or bow yourselves to them or serve them in sacrifice to them. But you shall fear the Lord who brought you out of the land of Israel with great power and with an outstretched arm. You shall bow yourselves to him 
and to him you shall sacrifice. And the statues and the rules and the law and the commandments that he wrote for you, you shall always be careful to do. You shall not fear other gods, and you shall not forget that the covenant that I have made with you. You shall not fear other gods, but you shall fear the Lord your God, and he will deliver you out of the hands of all your enemies. However, they will not listen, but they did according to their former manner. So these nations feared the Lord and also served their carved images. Their children did likewise, and their children's children, and their fathers as their fathers did. And so they do to this day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Continuing on page 86, we will say together, Canticle 9, the first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now turning to page 94 in your Book of Common Prayer. We will say together, Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. Yeah. Did you have to do your reading first? I'm sorry. Okay, sorry about that. I jumped ahead of him. Sorry, guys. Oh, did you tell him 1 Corinthians 7, 25 through 31? <laughs> New Testament, 1 Corinthians 7, 25-31. Now concerning the betrothed, I have no command from the Lord, but I give you my judgment as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. I think that in view of the present distress, it is good for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek to be free. Are you free from a wife? Do not seek a wife. But if you do marry, and you have not sinned, and if a betrothed woman marries, she has not sinned. Yet those who marry will have worldly troubles, and I would spare you that. This is what I mean, brothers. The appointed time has grown very short. From now on, let those who have wives live as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as though they were not rejoicing and those who buy as though they had no goods, and those who deal with the world as they had no dealings with it. For the present form of this world is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, page 94, Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler, ruler of the, of the universe, universe, Lord God, God <clears throat> great deeds are they that you have done surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel this morning is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 25 to 34. Matthew 6, 25 to 34. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? 
Look at the birds of the year. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which, is, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, he will not be much more clothed, he, he will not much more clothe you, O you of little faith. Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all of these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we will confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and a life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Now as we begin our prayers, if you would... Um, Start typing in your prayer request if you have any. And now together we'll say the Lord's Prayer found on page 97. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Continuing with suffrage A, found on the bottom of page 97. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The call it for today is proper 21, found on page 234. We would like to follow along. O oh God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross so that everyone might come within reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, amen.
Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. I'm sorry, y'all. Lord, Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new us to safety in this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us into this new day. We praise you for your holy works, for your Holy Spirit who works through us to serve your people. Lord, let us ever see Christ in all. Let us show your love to them. Be your hands and feet to all those around us. Father, we lift up to you all those who are sick. We ask for your merciful healing for them. Lord, we ask that you strengthen them, remove all fears that beset them, and lay your healing hands upon them, strengthen and give peace to their families and for all who care for them. We pray especially for Daryl's sight to improve, um, and Lord, also for Chris, who's having vision problems. And for healing for Mamie. And especially for Jim Vineyard, Kathy Hicks, Caleb Lockwood, Hunter Haney and his family, Lord, a miracle. Be with his family. Strengthen them, especially for his mom, Adrian, father, Jack, and his brother, Hudson. Ramid Shortwell, healing for Randy Kennett and his back. For Melissa with breast cancer. And Lord, we pray for those who are unemployed, um, that they may find jobs. For Kathleen, Adam, Rob, Stephen, Sylvia, and all those not named, Lord, Carl, um, and all those for whom we pray in our hearts. We pray for all students and teachers as they are learning in a different way, many at home um, and many at school. Lord, we ask that you protect all of them Open their minds and their intellects to learn. Give the teachers wisdom to teach each student as they learn um, as best what's best for them. Grant the teachers patience and loving kindness toward the students. Um, we pray for all the parents who are at home um, homeschooling their children and following along as the teachers guide them. We ask for your blessing for Tracy and her family. Thanksgiving for Sloan's fifth birthday on October 1st. Lord, bless his precious little heart and guide him in the way that he should go, that he may follow you, love you, and know you all the days of his life. Uh, we, Lord, we ask for healing for Robin, a friend of Cheryl's who has brain cancer. Father, just lay your healing hand on her. Restore her in body, soul, and spirit, that your name may be glorified. F 
We pray for Cheryl, who has an interview on Wednesday. Lord, guide her, give her the words to say, Holy Spirit. Answer the questions right. Um, for her interviewee to see her for the precious person that she is and um, that she may get this job, Lord, we've been praying and asking, and we trust in your mercy and in your truth and that you hear our prayers. We also pray for, Lord, for the fires in California and the northeast, northwestern United States be extinguished. Pray, um, we pray, pray protection for all those who are in harm's way, especially for the firefighters who are working tirelessly um, to put these fires out. Father, protect them. Just put your holy angels in charge of them. Be with their families. And Lord, give them the work and bless what they do for the honor and glory of your name. We pray for our missions, especially for dying Cambodia. Lord, we give you thanksgiving that he has gotten um, transportation and continue his ministry um, in a mighty way through that. Um, we give you praise for Andrew and Michelle and his family that they were able to secure tickets to the United States um, so that they may see family and welcome the new member of their family, their precious baby. Um, Lord, we pray for health and strength through all of that for mama and baby and family. Lord, we pray for our international student ministry at UTD, for our Mission Home Church, for the Marriage Vitality Ministry, and for Down Home Ranch, Lord, that they may continue to have funds to house those who are in need. Um, Grant them wisdom, let them be good stewards of the money and provide for them as needed, Lord. And we pray for Gateway of Grace and for all those who minister to refugees, the, the homeless, um, those who do not know you, Lord. Um, we ask that you give them, um, just fill them with your Holy Spirit. Uh, grant them perseverance and strengthen your love that they may continue to serve you. And we pray for our clergy, especially for Betsy, David, and Neil. And Lord, last but not least, for all those who are alone, those who are in nursing homes or in hospitals that are not allowed to have loved ones around them, those who are um, sequestered in their homes because they're immunocompromised, Father, we just ask that you be with them in a mighty way. Let your holy angels minister them and let them know that they are not alone. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, continuing on page 101, we will pray together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Turning to page 102. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that where two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us all with joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Y'all have a blessed day. And as far as I know, services are, what's that? Services are the same. Um, morning prayer, Monday through Sunday at 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8 o'clock, Facebook stream. Noonday prayer at 1210. And that's daily as well. And I know there's one I'm not done on Sunday. And I wrote it down last week. Where is it? Anyway, continuing, then we have Compline um, every evening at 8 o'clock. And can you help me here? <laughs> Which one? Well, you? I'm lost. Well, the okay. service is on Sunday. Sunday is 7 p.m. is on Saturday. Sunday, I think now we have 8 o'clock. 7 p.m. at church. Right. On the parking lot of Green Correct. Greenleaf. Outdoor service. Sunday at eight o'clock is out service. On Greenleaf, service, right? And then ten a.m. is the live stream. Service. I think that's it. And and they are talking about indoor services, but that, to my knowledge, has not been released yet. So things check, are check status. It. Yeah, check check the website. Um, right now we're at status quo. So um, check the website for possible inside services on Saturday and Sunday. Thank you all. Have a great day. Vaya con Dios. Have a good day.